So I have given my speaking test here and this is the continuation video of the previous video I recorded before going to the test. In this video I have some uh, important information which I would like to share. Okay, so I will set it up there. Okay, so I have completed my speaking test. I else. So how was it? And I am going to share some few few important informations before you go to IELTS and uh, if someone from IDP is seeing this then some uh, change in the email or change in the notification from the IDP to the students I would like to give. I want them to give. Okay, the first thing is I went uh, inside. So the 8th floor, no issues security was there you have to show your passport they will have a printout of your name passport and uh, the test detail that is all fine then they asked me to scan the qr code which is given there using the mobile phone since i knew that mobile phone is not allowed i had kept it down okay in the car but they asked me the mobile phone in my case uh, that is okay because i had car and I kept it. What if someone gives it to their relative? In, for example, when you go for a US embassy, nothing is allowed, right? Phone is not allowed, wallet, nothing is allowed. So, what many do is either they come with relative and they give it or they don't bring it. In my case, I didn't take anything. So, if at all someone comes like that without phone, it would be difficult for them because security asked to come down and take my collect my mobile phone and uh, two things they have to do there are two QR uh, codes the first thing you have to scan and it will show you the detail you have to confirm the second thing when you scan it is just it is nothing but the website the URL of the website so you have to log in there and the security is just uh, checking the information there and he is submitting it I didn't I don't know I don't understand why this uh, process is there because um, they could have easily asked us to bring a printout of the document or our original passport is there okay what is beyond original passport original passport is there and they can use that to verify in their uh, notebook or in their system so I didn't really uh, understand the logic behind asking us to mob bring the mobile phone and not allowing inside and giving a locker to keep it there. So I didn't uh, know the logic provided they should have asked us to bring a confirmation slip. That would be easy. That would be straightforward. Just the case you are not planning to take your mobile phone. That's the only concern I had. I don't have concern uh, any other concern what if someone forgets the mobile phone not only that when you scan the mobile phone you have to log in to the website you should know the username and password so in my case i don't usually keep the username password in my mobile it is not saved i usually use it in the desktop and i have everything there and i forgot the password i, I don't remember the password because it's in the desktop so they asked me to change the password and then log in so time was running out they asked me to come at 9 i went at 9 so the security asked me to reset the password so i don't i don't remember the username also so from the email i saw the username i went to change password i gave the details thank god the password got changed and i logged into the portal and uh, security was just viewing my detail and clicking on submit so i really if someone if this has to be changed then asking the students to bring their mobile phone and asking them to log in and viewing there with uh, actually old process i don't i don't believe in this they should be having a system instead they should be having a system there why don't you give security a system so they can just key in the passport number and uh, check the details that is straightforward right that is much easier than asking everyone to scan this show me your phone i will verify anyway if if there is a logic which i don't understand then this is okay i agree and uh, accept my uh, accept that i don't understand 
but if at all this is the only reason they are asking to uh, bring the phone and scan it then i think this could be handled in a much better better way that's the only suggestion i had and other than that um, so after going inside um, they ask you to wait in a wait room now, all those things are uh, regular process which i am already i have already undergone that process so it was all smooth inside it is uh, not an issue so just a few minutes you will wait and there are washroom <coughs> the facilities uh, car parking was there outside if you come on weekdays there is no car parking so ensure you have a car parking surrounding because they don't allow cars to be let inside even here this this center also they didn't allow to come inside again car parking is not available who come from far away right it would be tough for them and then uh, washrooms are available neatly maintained drinking water is available in the waiting room they give bottles of water 250 ml bottle and then after your uh, details are verified they'll capture the uh, ta index finger and then that's it you would be allowed to go inside the room there it's an uh, virtual uh, learning virtual speaking test so one person was already connected in the call so i went there and uh, everything was good i didn't a little bit of nervousness i had initially but as it uh, went through it was as it progressed it was good and i spoke confidently it was nice good so i just completed and came back i still have 2 hours 20 minutes um, time is now 10 15 so i have till 2 20 that's the time they will allow me inside uh, and one o'clock is the exam so two hours i have to wait here i brought my lunch since i was traveling from long way i brought my lunch that's it i'll just spend some time i was recording video maybe i'll record a couple of another videos for my other channels and that's it so how the test went what are the questions that were asked i would be recording in a separate video okay so that is the thing i wanted to share in this video if you are taking ielts ielts all the very best do it well it's very easy and i'll catch you up in another video take care bye bye